Here, Clint. So, I've got your wiring link. If you're going to use a bit of imagination today, we've got a firewall. Goes through here, look, there's a rubber grommet. There must be a firewall. There's the back of the engine. Straight through there. You're going to put this grommet through somehow. You'll work out a way. Or cut it off and run it through the original hole. Um, I've cut the factory fuse box out. It was shit. So that's gone. Fitted up this one. These holes are pretty close. You might just have to slide a little bit, but I think you make that fit okay. In the box, there's the oil pressure switch. Plug it in and run it up to the hydraulic fan wires. Connect it to both the hydraulic fan wires. And that'll bring it inside. There's a spare earth strap. And a rubber grommet, which was down the tunnel. The four-wheel drive wiring went through it. I think you'll get away with... You might run the fuel pump wiring through that. It's curled up in there as well. So... Piece of cabling to run power from the battery to where it used to connect into the, the fuses. I'd prefer if you put some fusible links in there. The alternator runs underneath the engine. So there's that fuse block there. We'll just check some uh, permanent power to the alternator. Which is that one. Yep, permanent power is there. And there's your main power. That's good. There is a cable, oh, the blue wire, that's your fan output, comes off the fuse box on the end, marked fan. I've left it long so you can work that out where you want it to go. There's this cable here, runs inside to the uh, insulated stud, and it's got the fan wiring in that one as well. Right beside that, second one in is the fuel pump. It's got a few meters of wire there, so that's for your fuel pump wiring. So once you've got that mounted, and we go up to the, the, the fuse mounted, goes up to the battery, earth's in the loom, one, one on the back, oh, two on the back of the engine, one each side, and one over by the fuse box. So on the loom itself there's the one, two, and on the engine there's two. There's also one on your four-wheel drive wiring, the white wire over there goes to it. All right, I've got the dash plugged in. Uh, the four-wheel drive wiring, pretty straightforward. It's the black plug, and it comes off through the center of the, the loom. I just happen to have a gearbox here, so it goes in, it's got the reverse wires, it's got a switch on the side, and it's got the four-wheel drive light and the one that goes to the motor. And then there's also the earth. So that's the four-wheel drive wiring there, and then you've got uh, pink and a black and a white black wire here. That goes to the to your whatever button or whatever switch you're going to use. Here's your to plug your engine loom in. So there's the engine loom comes into the cabin off the fuse box where you've got the main power going in. Plug in the big white plug like so from the fuse box, and the fuse box should mount somewhere in the middle of the vehicle or up under the dash where it's dry inside. There's your start trigger. So you pretty much can't get those wrong. And then plug the ECU in. One, two, three, and then the fourth one is off the uh, relays and fuses. You've got a, a little little one here that's for the diagnostics. Now you've got a diagnostic plug, um, E1, TE1, E2. So you won't use that. That's for my adapter. So I have modified the diagnostic plug on the engine to suit. Oh, while we're there, fan switch for the radiator. If those wires aren't quite long enough, you'll need to extend them. But doesn't matter which way around they go. Loom's all been retaped and checked. It was a sweetheart. 
uh, and then there's a wiring for the dash this has got the uh, oil light the water temp and the check engine light which I have wired onto the dash and then over on the loom you've also got the single pin plug here which is your start trigger into this box and there's two fuses on the end if you get them wrong it just won't go 4x4 goes to the 4x4 fuse funnily enough and that's the power for the 4x4 and ignition in so that's that bit of wiring done uh, we'll turn the key on shall we today I'm using the uh, flash yellow orange key here there and there right we'll power it up That earth just isn't quite good enough. Just got to fix this earth. Look at that. Oh, we're working. That's better. Now that big red light in the middle, it's the check engine light, come from the ECU. If I unplug the ECU, it'll go away. Look at that. So there's your check engine light. So that's working. Uh, your oil light. which is, you're going to connect into that hydraulic fan. It's going to be that one. And we can see the oil light's on. So that's working. Lovely. We'll do the, we'll do the water temp. So water temp on the dash, on the unit is here. And the one off the UZ should be close enough to your Toyota. And you'll see that temp gauge starting to climb. My light's flashing, it does funny things. There we go, look at that. So there's your temp gauge. That's working like it should, so I'm happy with that. Oh, it's getting a bit hot. Over at our alternator, we've got there, and this will make the light go. There we go. We've got a charge light. So that's the alternator wired. That's lovely. And we'll see if this four wheel drive works, shall we? Four wheel drive is not working at the moment. This earth probably wouldn't help, eh? We'll plug. Make sure we've got an earth. Oh, look at that. Four wheel drive actually works. We're connected to the gearbox. Check that back motor's in good order. Okay, so there's uh, when you push the button, so that's high. And we should bypass it if I put it into full drive there. Ooh. There it goes. There's your full drive. This box is a little slow. Beauty. And reverse lights should actually even work. So reverse lights are over here. Where's my test light? There it is. Here's our reverse lights. So I'm pretty happy with that. The rest of it should just all plug in. Um, we'll crank some start, shall we? So fuel pump. So your fuel pump, I've given you some extra wiring here. It's connected into the second to last fuse. And I've given it a start, put a start relay in, just to take the load off the factory loom. Right, we're going for a start here. 
So there's your fuel pump going and start trigger. It's in that orange wire. It goes into the big black. There we go. So there's your start trigger. Uh, fan wiring is pretty straightforward as well. If we go over here. So the fan switcher doesn't matter around which way around it goes. And there's your fan. I've got big grunty wires on it. So that was pretty straightforward, eh? Um, I'll leave it laid out overnight. Get this video up, you can watch it. Any questions, anything I've missed, let me know. And uh, she's ready to go in a box. Catch you later.